Hi everyone, Blake Jones here, and in this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to talk about monitor calibration. And more specifically, the basics of how often do you need to calibrate your monitor. And so, for example, a lot of monitors that you're getting nowadays are pre-calibrated in the factory. And I have to say that these calibrations that are done in the factory are extremely good. And so very often, once that's done, you're pretty much good to go. However, there are some situations when you're in a grading suite that you want to think about periodically checking your calibration or recalibrating. And now, for example, ASUS makes this extremely simple. When you buy a monitor like the PA32UCX, it actually comes with a calibration probe and built-in software. So what happens with this is that you attach the probe to the monitor. And so, for example, I'm using here, which is the X-Rite probe. And this is a great little probe that basically you attach to the front of the monitor. It basically just uh, has a nice little pad so it doesn't scratch the display. It goes right to the edge of the display. And then it allows you to recalibrate your monitor. And then um, this is a great way just to make sure that your monitor has been periodically calibrated. You can either do an overall calibration or you can also do it in multi-sectors as well across the display. Now the advantage of storing the calibration data within the monitor means that if you are to attach a different computer to the monitor, the monitor remains calibrated. There are some situations where you will have a, a monitor that is calibrated and then they store a lookup table on the computer. And so what happens with this is that if you go to another computer, attach this to your monitor, you will find that your monitor is no longer calibrated because the calibration LUT that was created during the calibration process is actually sitting on another computer. Now, for example, because with the ASUS displays, the calibration information is actually stored in the monitor, this is not the case. You can attach any computer to the monitor and you're all set to go. So this is always something to think about when you have uh, color grading and you want to make sure that your calibration is uh, correct. However, nowadays, you don't really have to recalibrate your monitors so, so often because this um, mini LED display um, don't really drift and so it, everything stays really uh, in line for you, so it's not a problem. It used to be when I was working with uh, CRT displays and when they would get warm the colors would look different than when the monitor was cool and you would get a lot of points uh, when the display would start to drift a bit and then you'd have to recalibrate and things like that. And this is really not the case now with the modern displays. So in short, um, it is a good idea sometimes to check your calibration on your monitor, but it's not a situation that you have to constantly be recalibrating the monitor. This is not something that I personally do frequently. So there we have it. So for more information about training services, have a look in the comments below. And for more tips and tricks videos, have a look at the other videos on my YouTube channel. Please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And also um, think about becoming a Patreon and there's a lot of great perks there, and I hope to see you soon, and thanks a lot, and have a great day.